afternoon, good evening ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Supercars of London on the sofa in my living room because we are still in lockdown. I hope you're well, not going too crazy, staying inside and staying healthy. In front of me, I've got a very futuristic and technologically advanced setup. I've got my laptop on a cardboard box with a camera above because today we're gonna to be delving into different budgets and car buying. Because I've been doing a lot of Instagram Q and A's, a lot of you guys have been asking me, what is the best car you can buy for 25 grand? What is the best car you can buy for five grand? Now I've been going through Auto Trader a lot over the last week or so. I've been spending a lot of time for my own car purchase research, but also just tracking the markets because it really interests me on the depreciation side of things and also whether we're gonna see any deals coming out of the back of this lockdown period. Now there is only one man that I can get on Skype who can help me in this situation. That is none other than Tony from Gravelwood. So I'm gonna get him on and we're gonna somehow merge all of the screens and audios together to bring you guys a live-ish, I mean, I'm pre-recording this, but you will get to see me and Tony talking about the car industry, how we feel like it's gonna change, what are our predictions for the future, hopefully talk a little bit about car buying within my sort of price bracket, but then we're gonna be breaking down into some of the other price brackets, 25,000, 40,000, 10,000. Tony buys and sells cars every single day. I spend a lot of time on Auto Trader, so this should be an informative, entertaining, and fun video for you all to enjoy. So uh, I'm gonna get set up, get Tony on the line, and get cracking. You're connecting audio, hold on. Here we go. Yes. Are we there? We're there. How's that? You're perfect. Awesome, mate. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Surviving. You staying inside? Well, I'm going out for a walk, boy. But I mean, I am very bored. <laughs> you haven't got a PlayStation. Well, I have, yeah, but I don't know where it is. I've got to set it up. I mean, play, play stuff. I mean, I'm not very good at PlayStations anymore. I'm old. Yeah, I was going to say you're too old for quarantine, really, aren't you? I am, yeah. Well, I tell you what, I think seeing as we are in this weird period, there are a lot yeah. of people out there that still need to or want to buy cars. The used car market, I think, would be okay, especially initially. Yeah. Uh, because I do think there's going to be a shortage of cars. What, as in new cars? Yeah, definitely a bit shortage of new cars. Yeah. So that 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 gets um, filtered down to used cars. But but initially there'd be a bit of a boom, I would think, because um, people have been sitting indoors. Yeah. You know, most people have still kept their jobs. Although I do think there will there will be some job losses because you'll have smaller businesses that just won't be out of cope and they'll unfortunately will, will go out of business so there will be some job losses and but the, you know the big firm people will still keep their jobs um but it will be long term i think i think i think we're all gonna suffer long term because don't forget the i'm going a bit deep into this really but that's fine it's good money that, all this money that the government's adding now it's got to be paid back yeah it's not free yeah you know, all the love all the all the grants and everything and, Grants, yeah, they've all got to be paid back, and the money has to come from somewhere, i.e., the government get it um, from bonds essentially. So the government have borrowed it to lend it to us, and we've got to pay it back. So, yeah, our, our, the hard times are to come, mate. Now, there is a interesting insight to the video. Do you remember about two weeks ago, I came down to Gravelwood and we drove an AMG GTS, and we that did worked. that. When was it? That was like four weeks ago, maybe. Really? Maybe we've been we've been shut. Uh, we've been shut nearly two weeks. <laughs> okay. Well. I mean. It feels like it was in 2017. You probably would. You probably wouldn't if you ever come out of YouTube and social media. If you get some money behind you. Wouldn't be a bad motor dealer, really. I mean, you'd probably flat. <laughs> Would you hire me? Would you hire me? No. Oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> because I 
know exactly what you do. You buy cars for your arm, not your head. Hang on, so Run around buying. Oh, let's buy this. Put it all on it. I mean, you cannot do. That. <laughs> just mod all of your stock. <laughs> Day one, just come in with four exhausts, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, hot hatch, saloon, estate, you know what? I mean, SUV, I mean, what, where, where are we? I mean, Let's what, go for performance. Let's go for performance. Okay, so hot hatch then. Yeah. Because that's the best value for your buck. And I would have a Fiesta ST. Ooh. Well, I've, I've done a bit of research and been going through Auto Trader myself. And I've come up with a few alternatives to a Fiesta ST. A, no. ba a Bath 595. Got one in stock right now. Go to Gravelwood Cars if you want one. They're, they're actually better value for money than a, than a Fiesta ST. Um, and they look a bit quirkier as well, got a bit more of a personality. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, 2017, so like 67 reg with 7,000 miles um, at 10 and a half grand. So yeah, yeah good stuff. What about up GTI? I'd have the Fiesta, I'd still have the Fiesta over that. Yeah. Because they, they, although they are very good, they are just a lot, they're just a lot of money because it's a Volkswagen. Yeah. So and I, you just get a lot more bang for your buck with a, with a full or 25 grand, because I think this is when the budgets get a little bit more spicier. 25 grand, still going for performance. What's your number one shout? The, uh, the, the thing is, again, you can buy so many cars for 25 grand. Yeah. And cars as well. So M3, M4 comes to mind. Although for 25 grand, you're going to get an earlier car with a bit of miles and you've got to be careful with them because they do turbos, them M3s and the M4s, the early ones. Don't want that. a few quid. Yeah, it's a few quid to fix them. Um, really, really for a decent M4, M3, you need to be at 30 grand. For a decent one, you know, for a three-year-old one, four-year-old one. You've got to be at 30 grand, really. 25, you're going to get an older one with some older mileage. Yeah. Uh, what what obviously springs to mind, which I think is the best, if we're going hot hatch, because when you speak, when you think value, you, you you kind of have to look at hot hatch because that's basically what they're built around, you see. That's the whole reason they do everything. They're good for you for money. They're fast. You put your dog in it. You can put your shopping in it. So the best all round one of them is a Golf R, and I've said it so many times. So for 25 grand, you get a lovely Golf R. Yeah, so, good okay. shout. That, that would be a good shout for me, 25 grand Golf R. Do you want, to list the, do you, do you want me to list the cars that I picked up for 25 grand on Auto Trader? Go on. Aston Martin Vantage. Yeah, I mean, that's terminal. I mean, you would literally spend another 25 grand a year running it. I mean... <laughs> Or, or 300 quid a year driving a Golf R, which is just as fast in the real world. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then. F Type V6. Again, that's going to be a bit of a dog, isn't it, at 25 grand? Like a bit high mileage. I mean, you can't even get them, but again, you're going, I'm using my head and going performance <laughs> to running costs down and daily daily usage, you're going performance with high mileage and bonkers running costs. I mean, we're complete, this is what I mean, you would not make a motor dealer. <laughs> <laughs> you complete know, the well, if you like. <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> Sensible cars. M140, yeah. i30N, Civic Type R. Good shout. Good shout. All three good shout. Yeah. Very good. All three. Bang on. 40 grand, I feel like, is the best price bracket when you want bang for your buck. 
Yeah, so so if you thirty five, we all I always get people asking me what's the best car for thirty five, forty grand. It's a real sweet spot in the market, though. Yeah. Because you're look, you are looking at if you want an SUV, you'd get a nice Range Rover Sport for that money, thirty five, forty grand. Um, again, M three, M four competition. Get a couple of couple of year old car for that C63 Coupe, um, C63 S Saloon. We've got one in stock, 35 grand. Grey one. Miles on it. Um, yeah, you, you, there's lots, mate. There's a lot of, at 40 grand. There's there's a lot of cars you can get for the money. What about a McCann GTS, Porsche McCann GTS? Uh, you get a high mileage dog for 40 grand. <laughs> Get a nice, get a nice diesel. Get a nice, you know, nice three litre diesel or the, you know, the, the, just the normal S forty grand, but not not a GTF. You get, you know, you just wouldn't get a very nice car for that forty grand. What about a manual R eight V eight? You get a nice one for forty k. Yeah, you would, but again, like, like just a fortune to run, isn't it? Like. And they do start going wrong when they get older. Yeah. You know, like, up years and, and they suffer with oil leaks and um, what else do they do? Air conditioning units for a couple of grand. They're not funny. There's lots of... <laughs> They're not there's funny. Lots of, <laughs> there's lots of other things that you forget that when they go, they are a fortune. Because although performance-wise, they're not a good supercar now, when they come out, they work. Yeah. So, our money to fix. I mean, you get a Bentley, mate. You get a nice Bentley. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what about M2 Comp and Very good. Julia QV? Both bang on. M2 Comp, Julia QV, both. I would consider them myself really good cars. There you go, Tony. Have a great rest of the day. Go, don't actually don't go for another walk because you're only allowed one exercise a day. Yeah, one's too much for me as well. I, mean, I, I like a bit of cake or chocolate. <laughs> we'll enjoy that tonight. Stay safe. I'll see, see you mate. soon, mate. Take care. Bye, mate. There we go. That was checking in with Tony, understanding a little bit about what the car industry is like at the moment, whether you can still go and buy cars, which the answer is yes. I didn't actually realise that. So uh, good to hear and speak to Tony as well. See him doing well and staying at home, uh, but still working from home. So, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you've enjoyed this slightly different style of video, getting on the line with Tony. I hope the technicalities of the audio and the visuals have come off in this video, and if they haven't, then I, I truly apologize, but I'm working my ass off to come up with some ideas, connect with people online so that we can bring you guys some interesting and entertaining content. I think we smashed it with the 10K, the 25 and the 40K. Let me know what budget budgets you wanna see next. And um, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and I will see you soon for the next episode. Take care, stay inside and I'll see you soon. Goodbye guys.